Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are here once again within the cursed estate and we are going to be jumping in to uh, a level 4 mission. A long one. I haven't really done this in a while and I feel that it's about time we level up some of our level 4s. We have three of them here with us at the moment and I want to try and get them leveled up. So we're going on a long mission which I think should just about level them all the way up. Uh, and we're also bringing a new class as well, our uh, Janissary. Um... Although, do we have a backstory for the Janistry? I don't think we do, actually. So let's uh, let's actually swap that out for now and wait until we have the backstory ready for the Janistry. I just realized that we don't. But if anyone wants to write that backstory, it would be very, very welcome. Uh, I want someone that has good range. Maybe Havarad can come along. Um, he's always good with the uh, extra buffs that he can get. Or we'll go with someone that has some heavy heavy affinity with the light, considering the current uh, the current build that we've got going on here. We've got uh, a lot of people that have an affinity with the light. That could be interesting. Um, Sean could also come out. He's got some interesting stuff, but he's more frontline than backline. So maybe not. Um, yeah, let's let's bring out let's bring out he this here. Uh, anything else we might want to we might want to go with bombardment is a good shuffle and minus to stun resist shrapnel is going to be a bleed across the board as well as extra damage versus stunned and bleed resist redu reduction we probably just want to stick with uh with this actually for the buffing self on accuracy so let's put him back in and i'm going to go with exactly the same trinket setup that i just had um i think that's a pretty good setup and that should lead to some good stuff there. Um, and yeah, we'll bring out Havrad instead, actually. And wait until our Janissary has actually got a backstory. Um, but yes, uh, we're jumping in with two two people that are of, of the light. Um, our Oracle, who we do have a backstory for that I need to just go back and get. And our Lumen. Uh, so let's first of all go back and find our uh, backstory for our new Sunlight Warrior. Uh, if I remember correctly, TEA wrote this one, so I'm excited to see. This is one that's been written for a long time, pretty much since Oracle died, uh, which was unfortunate, of course, but it's going to be uh, interesting to see a, a new one emerge. Uh, here it is. It's Herbert. So let's first of all enter the backstory of um, Herbert, and this is our Warrior of the Sun, our Sunlight Warrior, a backstory by TEA. Herbert stood one among the hundreds Geared for war, they marched for Armidus, the last safe city in the world succumbing to madness, and into the demons rising from the earth and falling from the sky. This army fought for the light as the demons overshadowed these mere, mere, mere men. They faltered, and the light rewarded the brave and the faithful. They were felled dozens at a time, and more and more men lost their lives lost their will and turned uh, heel to flee, only to be slaughtered anyways. There was one, however, faithful to the point of insanity, who kept fighting, even if he had to fight alone. He drowned beast after unholy beast, but every man has his limits, and Herbert joined his allies in the dirt. However, Herbert was not done. How it happened was not known to him, but he had been returned to life with greying skin without a pulse. Even still, the light grows his unholy form. He rose from under a pile of corpses and turned back to see the eternal city of Armidus in flames. Herbert, shameful of his failure, began to scale a mountain, hoping the cold winds and isolation may bring him some peace. Instead, it brought a direction, for far in the distance he could see a light. The hamlet was lit in the darkness of night. Fantastic backstory there. Super happy to have uh, have Herbert on board here. And we actually do have another um, another backstory to go into for our uh, fiend that is one of our new classes here. Um, Baron Mordred. And this is by Dragon Lord. Baron Mordred was once a cruel, cruel man who owned the infamous Morid Manor. A place almost as infamous as the darkest estate always treating his servants and most of the people loyal to him like dirt. One day, a poor beggar came to him and asked for, the, asked for help. But when the Baron spat in the beggar's face, he placed a curse on the Baron and told him that if he was going to act like a monster, then he was going to be a monster, telling him that the only way his curse was to, um, was to act kind and repent for his sins. The Baron heard of the darkest estate and made his way up there, hoping to rid himself of this horrible curse. 
yet another great one there. Super happy to have it. But yes, so our team, we've got Herbert here coming in with a focus ring and the sun. I feel like it's only... Uh, only makes sense to go with this. We've got Lumen here um, with the otherworldly bell and the eagle eyes talisman going in with a sort of frontline attacks and a little bit of their uh, stunning, as well as some ability to um, heal himself. Then we have Benjamin as our main healer here uh, coming in with the blood compels you. Nice pull. Uh, this for Lauren Bleed Resist. Not going to be super useful. But these two are the main ones. Extra damage on enemies below 50%. Uh, as well as buffing our healing skill. And the healing blood. Which heals for 0 to 3. Which may sound terrible considering no one has the Crimson Curse. But paired with the Last Light and the Martyr's Halo. I think that this should lead to some insanely good healing. We're going to be getting at least 4 healing up to um, up to 7. Every time we use this on the whole team, as well as the prop buffs. The only thing I am worried about is his maximum HP is very, very low. But I think that we should be okay because we do have a Herbert with the Way of the White, which is going to uh, allow him to guard an ally um, and mark, it, uh, mark himself as long uh, as, along as, as well as, sorry, applying a block. Uh, and then obviously have Rad we just saw. Uh, going with damage and otherworldly bell. I've got two otherworldly bells on this team just because I feel like the healing isn't guaranteed from Benjamin. So I wanted to make sure we had some backup. We're going to be jumping in to the ruins here to try and level these guys up. Uh, one thing that I do want to do actually before we do this, because it's something I haven't thought of, is just quickly making sure that everyone's got their skills um, sorted and ready to go. So let's uh, quickly sort ourselves out. Go up to the top here. And just check on everyone's skills. Make sure everyone's ranked up to where they need to be. Um, I believe they are. Check on here as well. Avrad, of course, the only level 5 coming along. But everyone's looking good. We don't need to get camping skills. Although I will check our camping skills in case there is anything that we'd rather have. Um, I don't think there is there. Lumen. Produce one prayer candle. Um... Yeah, we'll probably get rid of, like, that and go for that. And Benjamin. Produce that. Oh, my God. One companion give mine. Holy shit. So, you can minus disease resist off a companion in order to make sure that they get the Crimson Curse. That's kind of an interesting concept, but obviously not something that I'm going to play into this time around. Uh, and we will go into a long mission here. Only for the um, the Hell's Hairpin, which we already have. But I, I'd ra I'm just doing this more for the leveling up than anything. Let's jump on in and see what we can end up doing. So we're bringing full food. We're going to bring six shovels. Eight of these. 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 And a bunch of torches. And we also start with a prayer candle. Blesses the user with the warmth and safety of the light. And the regenerate health from the ember flask. Two very good things for us there. Let's jump on in and see how this goes. I'm definitely excited to be jumping in as some classes that we haven't really touched in a while. I feel like Benjamin has been very much thrown to the wayside. And I really want to give him some uh, some limelight here. Um, and yeah, Havrad, yet another class that we haven't used in quite a long time. So I'm excited to be bringing him back into the mix. Even if he isn't the most effective class in this area, I still think he's going to cause quite a... He's going to pack quite a punch with uh, with his big cannon uh, and the 350% damage buffs that he can offer. He can really do some good stuff. And of course, the Lumen, uh, the Illuminator, who we haven't actually used yet. I'm very excited to use this one. These two obviously pair extremely well together. Lumen? Are you kidding me? <laughs> really? <laughs> Dudes! What are you doing? <laughs> Is the trap maker's art. Oh my god. We've walked three steps. Literally, you're supposed to be the people that are followers of the light. The light you literally purchase. have a candle on your head. How do you not Spirits see that, lifted. Lumen? And god. Made clear. How did you not see that? And of course, we come across these guys. I'm sure Benjamin's very happy to see these guys. Uh, but I'm interested to see how these guys work together in combat. Seems like it's going to be quite fun. Look at this. Lumen looks Amazing. We actually have a diary entry coming for Lumen as well. Uh, pretty soon, I believe. Uh, yeah, we've got a Lumen for uh, reading out during the uh, during the camping session here. So, in terms of pull, we don't really care. So, I guess we just go for the damage straight off the bat. We gained the Crimson Curse, of course. That is something that we're known to do. Um, you just gain it as Benjamin. You've just got to have it. Uh, I think we want to go for a kill here. I don't think we're going to be able to get a kill, but we'll try... 
Um, and yeah, well, let's go for the kill. Nice hit, Lumen. Animations on these new characters are insane. Okay, the otherworldly bell there helping us out with that healing across the board. And we're going to light the fuse. Get ready. Does lower our accur accuracy a little bit, but we should be okay. Probably a stun coming in here. Yep. I thought so. Oracle was looking like he was there. Uh, ready to take a stun. The third's coming in again. Good thing is, if anyone does take on Crimson Curse, other than Benjamin, we're going to gain some buffs from that, so it's not exactly the biggest problem. Uh, I'd rather not, but like I said, again, not exactly the biggest issue for us. We do have the uh, ability to... to be okay here. The only thing we don't have is blood. We didn't bring any blood with us, so that's problematic. So, yeah, as you can see here, nine healing there. Absolutely insane healing. In fact, was that nine and then twelve? I might have found a slightly broken combo here, but yet another crazy good crit there. Um, I don't know why it says that he gets hit for five damage. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that's about. We go for the kaboom there. Big hits. Very nice. Minus five speed on you. That's probably going to... Okay, we got a nice dodge there. I'm happy about that. Ooh, okay. He does have the chance to randomly hurt his allies, as you can see um, here. But that's okay. I'm going to pop another one of these. Five healing. And then eight. What is that? We found, like, a really godly combo here. I don't know why that's happening. Theoretically, I should be getting three healing, plus two healing, plus two healing. But for some reason, we're getting insane amounts. Maybe it's because of the Crimson Curse thing, but shouldn't be that high, should it? Doesn't feel like it should be that high. Yet another crit coming out here, but well done. Hopefully can manage that stress with those crits. Very nice. We're going with yet another swipe for Lumen. So I think Lumen just has a passive thing where if he hits an enemy, he takes some damage. I didn't actually know about that. Thank God we put the otherworldly bells on here. That's very good. Would It would make sense why he has that reform ability. Unfortunate miss there, but we're going to kill this guy out there. There you go. We did get some blood from that. Very necessary. Very happy to have it. Probably should use keys rather than shovels for that. I ain't going to lie. That was a bad idea. Uh, we got trap there. 80, 70, 80, 80. Unfortunately, no one's got the best disarm in the world, but we managed to get that one nonetheless. Um, we're not going to do anything with that. Unless we need more blood, then we'll maybe come back the to light. that. But we should be okay safety. for these guys. We should be okay. Keep mush mushing on forward. We've got to um, clear out as many room battles as we can to get complete this objective. So we should be fine for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this team so far. This seems like an interesting composition. Especially with Benjamin's healing abilities being... Far, far beyond what I expected them to be. I have to say, of course, we got some more of these guys. It does look like we are going to have to make our way into... Um... Do you know what? Let's just do this. Uh, it does look like we're going to have to make our way into going for the uh, going for the Baron or whatever the, the, the last boss of the Crimson Court is called, which is apparently the hardest boss in the game. So I'm, uh, I'm a little scared for that, I have to say. Um, I'm going to set up my parry here because it sets up my repost. I might, I might set up a few reposts here if I get the chance. Um, strike on you. Good damage. One hit remaining. Unfortunate. No blight, though. We're good. Yeah, let's set up our repost here. Oh, we don't quite have it available. We need to be uh, one position in for, uh, forward. But that's okay. I don't mind. We do have some setup with um, with Havarad here. Okay, that's going to give us some repost here, which could stun. Unfortunately not, but we both resisted anyways. So that's fine. We're definitely taking some higher damage than normal here, but I'm not as yet too worried about it. As long as Benjamin doesn't take insane damage, we should be okay. Um, because we've got very good healing across the board here. Yeah, th I don't know why, but it literally just heals everyone to full immediately. This is a insanely broken combo. I really don't know why it's happening. 64 crit. That is why you bring Havrad along. But yeah, I don't know why it's happening, but damn well, I can be pleased that it is. Yeah, another amazing crit from Lumen there. Very well done. Seems that he also gets healing from killing too. Interesting. I really love his sprite, by the way. All these newer classes that have just recently come out are very, very good. Um, I'm just going to parry you. Um, I was hoping that I'd do one damage, but it didn't. Okay, we did get some blight on us there. That's okay. I will uh, quickly get rid of that. Do that again. Wow. <laughs> this is going great. I'm just going to take you out now. Okay, 
Okay. Unfortunate dodge there. Of course, our accuracy is quite heavily penalized. And we don't have any accuracy buffs on uh, Havarad right now. Probably should have thought of that, but it's okay. And we push on forward. Give them no so Lumen's health is definitely going to be of more concern. Otherwise, ooh, okay, we got the humors. Um, more blood as well. I can't remember what this does. Um, causes the hero to crave blood immensely. Okay. We can use that from time to time if we'd like to get the buffs. Right now, I don't really want to do that because we don't have too much blood on us. But as you can see, we are, we are finding more of the Crimson Core enemies test. than normal. Alex Maybe Isaac. Quite a lot more. Maybe Isaac's going to have to look into what's causing all of this because they are they are back with a vengeance. Havarad looking like he's going to end up taking on some uh, taking on some pretty heavy stress here. Not really got anything particularly to deal with that, unfortunately. Um, which is a shame. Uh, try and take you out first. I'm just going to double hit you. Because of the enraging slight. It's going to hurt. Well, hurt our stress at least. Yeah, take you out first. Yeah, unfortunately, Havarad has taken on an immense amount of stress considering how sh how short of a time we've been here. Uh, we do need to set this up. We got the buff. Lovely. Plus 350% damage. We're going for the thirst on um, on Herbert here, are we? I'm going to set this up. Nice one. And the stun as well. Fantastic. This is hopefully stun as well. It did. Nice one. Double stun. We're right to see. Um, you're not unholy or anything, so we don't need to do that. We could go for a stun on the back line as well. It's got a pretty good chance, but I think we just go for kills, actually. And then use Havarad to take out the back line. Compassion is a rare I, I cannot believe how insanely good this healing is. I don't know what's going on. Someone has to try and describe to me what's occurring there. There's some bonuses that are being applied to the healing from Last Light and the Mitas Halo that should not be being applied to it. It's definitely a little boxed. Damn, I was really hoping for the kill there with that. It's okay. I'm really hoping Havarad doesn't take on too much more stress. 91. Havarad, you have a minus 15% to damage and you're still doing that. You are crazy. Victories mount, I'm going to take that. So too will you are resistance. absolutely crazy, Havarad. That is absurdly good damage. Oh, we got a treasurer here. Okay. And we get the surprise as well. This could be very good. Um, so I think we... I think we want to go for that to start and just try and get the early damage off. Um, there you go. We got him straight away. Had no chance. Beautiful. And we'll go for... You're only human, but I'll go for this anyways, because it does give us buffs. 51 damage, because we still had the 370% damage buff from last time. It's really good if you do that. If you catch the next one before it runs out, you can still use it into the next bit of combat. It's very, very useful to remember. Ah, this is this healing. It's just absurd. It's just absurd. I love it. We're just going to set up the parry here because we can't hit him. Otherwise, we might as well set it up. Um, and yeah, let's just go for a stun on you. We did get the stun. Unfortunately, it did lower our light. And 17. There you go. Exactly enough. Havrad is, is a tank, quite literally. Um, we got a lot there. We got ourselves a few things that I want. Um... There's not really much I want to get rid of. I guess I get rid of the humors and take that, that. Good stuff. And we carry on. We've already got one of those trinkets, so we don't need to worry about that. Pop in here, see if we get anything. Glittering gold. Unfortunately, nothing there that we want to take. Paid for in blood. Um, we need to be heading out this way anyway, so let's just go over here. And we did get a gargoyle here. Gargoyles have been buffed in the um, heavy Monsters pack, so we do have to be careful of them. I am going to do this straight away. There you go. That worked out fantastic. We stunned ourselves, but we've mitigated most of the incoming damage for this first phase of the fight. And I actually think we should fire on this guy because we might be able to kill him turn one. If uh, Lumen gets a good hit, which I'm sure he will. Thank you, Lumen. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Beautiful to see. And then these guys don't get to do anything. 
Nice hit. Fantastic. Lovely to see. Bypassing guard as well with this is also really nice. Not something I really considered, but very, very nice. Should have maybe gone for the kill there, but I think we'll be okay. Lumen gets the attack. I keep wanting to call him Oracle. It's Herbert. It's not Oracle. I'm sorry. Missed on that. And there you go. Havrod doesn't always need to use his damage buffs. If he can get away without it. We got one of these as well. We don't want that quite, quite yet. And we'll use this. Nice amount of diamonds or sapphires, sorry, here. Keep on that torch going. And everyone here is feeling very good. Everyone is feeling very, very good. Hopefully we get some scouting or something soon as well. That'd be very nice. Okay, make sure we take out this, this thing. This thing can hit insanely hard and... Oh, no. Oh, no. We can't... We can't hit it. Okay, this could be bad. This this could this could lead to some serious pain. I'm gonna do this and hope for the knockback just so we can get her into position. Okay, we did hit her pretty hard. But we need to hit her twice though to make her lose her action. Um I think we've got to go for this and try for the stun. Damn it, it doesn't even hit. So she's gonna get an attack, and these attacks hurt. A lot. <laughs> we are we are in a bad position right now. We have lost heroes to this Seraph before. Okay, good. She's lost her turn. That's we don't need to kill her. We just need to make sure she loses her turn. We do need some healing here. Okay, she's gone. Okay, threat major threat is neutralized. Now we can focus on the real part of the battle. So we're going to be taking some damage. These two, I didn't even mention the golem. Golem is an insanely difficult enemy to uh, to battle. Uh, if it hits crits, it can do absurd damage. Um, your stun, your stun chance is really lo really low. We need to just attack you. We need to get that insane healing off here. Everyone's up full. I, I, just every time, it just puts everyone to full immediately. Right. Keep on, keep on going. Havarad, I think we, we were about ready to uh, set you up for your next attack. That's problematic, but not terrible. Yeah, let's set you up. Buff you. Good. There's a chance that he fails that buff, so I was just checking on that. Um, I think we just move these around, make sure they're ready for next turn. Unfortunately, this guy's prot is causing some issues. But we're getting through it. We're getting through it. There you go. Havarad coming in clutch once again. And taking 13 reflect damage. Ouch. That is some heavy reflect damage right there. We have to get rid of this body in order to kill this guy. Everyone's back to full though, luckily. We're getting our stress down as well. Spear thrust, as you can see, slightly problematic. But he's now in range. And there you go. Havarad, you do absurd damage. You are godly. That, that was probably, or at least I'm hoping, the hardest bit of combat that we will come across uh, today in this, in this dungeon here. Um... I'm just going to give you that because I don't know what it does. Minus 10 crits received. I just want the money. I ain't going to lie. I just want the money. Keep on going. Minus 10 crits received is good though. Lots of gargoyles here and some stress coming in. Gargoyles now are much more dangerous. We have to be careful. Uh, we can take on some stuns and things like that. Luckily, we're dodging the flurries. Uh, we're definitely going to get this out here. Mainly for the prop, but it's also going to heal everyone to full. Um, I think we set up the parries here. Parry seems like it could be really good. And we did get a stun right off the bat as well, which is fantastic. Just because of this here, we should be getting stuns pretty regularly. Uh, we have a, a lot of move resist, so we're not going to be taking too many uh, hits to our movement here. Havarad. I'll see if you can kill this guy in one hit, because you are going to take a lot of stress otherwise. Let's see what you can do. You can kill in one hit, and thank God you did, because just getting rid of that stress is going to save you from... Being afflicted. 
or at least having the chance to be afflicted. We don't know, but we kind of do because I am I'm not lucky. Finish you off. And we are ready to go. Oh, Lumen's first miss, unfortunate, but it's okay. We don't need to do a ton of damage to these guys. We did minus his speed and move resist as well. There's that crit. Nice one. And we push forward onto the next. Just seek out damage here this time. He did miss on his flurry. And there you go. Fantastic work by the team here. Another tapestry as well. Very nice. We are getting some stacks and stacks and stacks of cash this time around. More so than I was expecting to receive here. Yeah, two bookcases, of course, not of any interest to us. No battle here. Probably only got one or two more. Uh, we did have... Okay, you're going to end up looking at that. Passages and settling. Bit of stress, that's okay. Let's feed you some blood. That's actually great for us because I believe, yeah, plus 25% damage on Havarad. Oh my god. <laughs> he hit a 91 crit already. Game, are you trying to annihilate these enemies? We are going to be the overkill killer. Restoration applied. It's okay. Again, we'll set up the parry here. These guys do have high stun resist, but I still think it's worthwhile. Um, I'm going to go for that. Swipe low. And you are now craving as well, so we'll give you some blood too. And we just go for the heal. It's just simplest. Okay, Havarad, you prep, because you are going to be killing a lot of stuff. Okay. Resist, but we did get the blight on us, unfortunately. Nice dodge. Another, but this is going to stun you. Very nice. Very nice for us indeed. And we take you out right as you're stunned. Where you stand or fly, should I say. 27. Easy. I like the way there's one of these, like, things hives behind us. My god, the amount of healing we put out every turn. I'm going to have to remember this synergy. The only thing is, Benjamin does only have 28 health, so he can be pretty easily one-shot if we don't protect him. But this combo is the most absurd healing I've ever seen. And I don't have any plus bonuses to healing either. That's the crazy thing. Like, I don't have a, uh, a syringe or anything on, on here. This expedition at least promises success. My god. Pass on through. Okay, well, I've got a new enemy here, the uh, the Burn Gallera. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it's interesting. I'm going to set this up for the prot. I think it's worthwhile doing nonetheless. And we set up the repurse on you. Good stuff. We set that up. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what this guy does, but I'm sure we'll find out it's not going to be nice. He dealt damage to his friend and applied horror to us all. Nice one. You get that restoration. Nice dodge. Havarad's again going to be star of the show here, I think. Taking out that back line. Definitely want to get rid of that guy, though. It seems like he punishes his teammates in order to hurt us. Interesting concept. I like the idea. Does mean that Havarad's probably going to get a stress check here, though. Nice one, Lumen. Very well done. Very well done indeed. I love to see it. Right. Wanted to kill that guy in a single hit with a crit there, but not quite. Take out you with a hit for 38. Oh my god, it's amazing. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Shackles. Uh, that did hit us for restoration. Didn't try to stun us, surprisingly. I thought that was going to be a stun. There's the hit we needed, but a little late, but oh well. Better late than never. And one more burn bearer. Burn spearman to go with a 46 hit. No crits. What the hell? But we are sitting at 92 stress. That is some stress that we... Well, 96 it'll be. That is some stress that we shouldn't really be taking on. There's a very high likelihood that we'll end up there. 
Yeah, in fact, let's camp here. Why the hell not? Circle in the dark. The battle may So I think won. the main things we want to do is de-stress Havarad. That's kind of the the main thing. So let's do that with everyone that we can. And then see if he can de-stress himself at all. Extra damage to range skill seems great. All companions, plus 100 stress healing. If religious, minus 10. Uh, but for only one round. Kind of interesting. Uh, refill orange flask. Party extra. Okay, this is really good, actually. I'll go for that, definitely. And we can do that, yeah. Cool. Let's rest. Uh, we do have one diary entry to get into here before we continue. I'll quickly go into that for Lumen here. And this is by, ah, yes, this guy again. What would I give to get my hands on some blood? With it, I might just be able to perform some sort of ritual to make this body more tolerable. However, I cannot risk killing a random person or creature at this point. Because they treat them like some sort of treasure. But, uh, but I've found another way to get the blood. I just need to get into an expedition into that courtyard that I've been hearing so much about lately. I've heard that place is bursting with it. If everything goes right, some of my power should come back to me. And because this body is made out of wax, I don't have to worry about this crimson curse. So many of these heroes seem to be plagued with. Although having another one of my brethren would be a great help to make this work. I just need a vessel. And I know who might be perfect for this job. The rest of the page is covered in odd symbols, little drops of wax. Awesome. That was really good. Absolutely loved that. And we carry on forward. We could skip this fight, but I wish I'd have skipped this fight. Because <laughs> this is a really heavy stress fight. Oh my god, this is going to be very heavy stress. Um, stun chance is very high on all of these. I think we just go for this. We should be able to stun every one of them that hits us, really. With them being surprised, he is great. Although they do have high speed, which means we'll probably end up getting a lot of bad stuff going on. Trying to get that damage out there. Do that. This is, this is going to be tricky. Nice dodge. That's very good for us. Defile coming in. Bit of damage with a massive debuff to that damage received. We're definitely going to be getting rid of that. Definitely going to be getting rid of that. Okay, now we definitely want the heal going on. Momentary abatement. And we take you out. Oh, not quite. Yeah, definitely want to get rid of that debuff. Way, way too horrible to go for. We go like that to try and stun these two. We got them both. Fantastic. Oh, no way. The game crashed. The game crashed. One moment. Okay, we are back. We're jumping back into the ruins here. Hopefully it places us just at the start of this fight. But obviously some interaction between a modded enemy and uh, what we've currently got going on. Didn't, didn't quite agree with, uh, didn't quite agree with us there, so... Let's maybe avoid using that move again, although it was very strong. Maybe it was just a fluke. Maybe I could try it again. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, I really want to risk it because the double stun is a nice payoff. But at the same time, it could crash our game again. It's it's rare that these things happen, but obviously negative mod interactions can happen. Oh no, it's brought us back in exactly where we were while they're still stunned. Very, very nice. No, that is not what I meant to do at all. What a waste of a turn. That's got to be the biggest waste of a turn I've ever seen. I meant to click this to give us some more torch. I'm very annoyed about that. I just marked him. Very annoying. Okay. I'm worried about our stress here, especially now that we've got more of these guys to deal with. Like, we, we sh both of these would be dead by now if that hadn't happened. Definitely get rid of you. And get rid of you. Not quite a get rid of, but... Almost. Of course you go for him. That's going to be a lot of stress. 12 stress coming in. Impale here. Mortality Unfortunately, no repost this time. Light levels are dwindling as well each time we get hit here. Everyone's back up to full health again, though. And you're dead. Come on, Havarad, you can do this. Please hit. Nice one. 
little bit of a risk there, but we got it. And more blood to bring back with us too. Okay, push on towards the next fight. Fall. Don't touch that, you stupid. Luckily, we resisted the trap. The light, the promise of safety. And just some uh, just some blood letters and brigands, outlaws. Definitely go like that against you. The stun is invaluable against these guys. I'm gonna pull you forward as well. Not quite, unfortunately. But we did get the repost in there, which guarantees the stun against you pretty much. Which stops you from being a pain in our ass. And we just kind of go to town on these guys now. I don't think we need to do this, but I'll set it up nonetheless. Okay, another stun coming out there. This repost is so good from, um, from Herbert here. So very good. My god. <laughs> Healing for 12 and then 16 on a... We got a move that's meant to heal 0 to 3. This guy doesn't have the Crimson Curse, and we just healed him for 12 and then 16. My god. 28 healing from something that should heal 0 to 3. Something definitely ain't right there. Something definitely ain't right. Of course he's left with 1 HP, because why wouldn't he be? Ah, oh, unfortunate miss there. Point blank shot. I mean, that's going to repurse. Ah, didn't quite kill. Didn't quite stun either. We finish you off. A little bit of an overkill there. Madness. Madness. Okay, big bit of healing there. Not sure where that was from, but I'm happy with it. I think he's got like optimism or something, maybe? No repurse this time. Just to clear out this body, unfortunately. Avrad will deal with you, though. Avrad will deal with you. There's no worry about that. We refused healing. It's the first time we've done that, but that's okay. It's only the stress that I care about for Havrad, really, is at full health. But there you go, 59. Indeed decimated. Quite heavily overkilled. Get that going. And we probably have one or two more fights left. And obviously some room, uh, some hallway battles too. Never a short of hallway battles. That should stun you. This, oh, I'm loving this so much. So powerful. I'm gonna empower this guy. It's okay. I'm actually just gonna go for the kill here because we still have our damage. We only had it for that one round, but we did have it. And this should be pretty easy. Oh, we should have gone for the other guy because we can go through stealth. I forgot we had bypass stealth on that. I mean, we had bypass stealth on this as well. Yeah, we should have. We should be fine here. He did the slash. He did the graveyard slash. Okay, and I want to get one more heal in here before we uh, finish off this fight. Let's just do that. I can't believe how useless that move is now that we have this insane heal. Boom. The blood Beautiful. And we push forward. No books for us. Never touch the books. Books are not worthwhile. We do have another set of um, campfire, but I really don't think we need it. I mean, I suppose we should use it for de-stressing at the end of the uh, expedition, considering we cannot get an, an ambush, but still. The way is lit. Um, the I think is Havarad will just give that to you. Require only I think that's extra damage, right? Yeah, plus 30% damage. Definitely no reason to camp now. Let's open that up, see what we get. Bit of extra money. Wow, we have gathered a lot of money here. A lot and a lot. First regular old battle in a while, but we should pretty much destroy these guys. Again, set up the parry at the um, repost, sorry, instantly. I think we set this up straight away as well. Havrad taking on that stress again, but he dodges. Very nice. And again, no dodge that time. This could lead to a stress check here. Very easily. No, no stun, unfortunately. I'll definitely set this up. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Easy. Should get kill here. There you go. Maintain the 
defense. Okay, I went for a different one this time, thank God. Did get that regeneration as well. Or restoration, should I say. There you go, everyone. There it is again. Yes, nice dodge. We needed that so bad. You have you deal more stress, so let's hit you for 60. 60. Oh my god. Nice why. I am so glad I put these otherworldly bells on. Even though we have absurd healing, I didn't realize that Lumen took damage 98. Oh my god. Yeah, so it, it took damage every time he attacked, so it worked out really well for just that, that ex extra little bit of sustain. And there you go. We so did it. We managed to do it. So let's just qu quickly go continue adventuring and campfire just to get that stress reduction that we needed. Um, I don't think anyone else has de-stress on themselves. Like you do. Okay, cool. We're good. And we head back to the town here. Returning to the hamlet. I think. Oh, there you go. My hole. Good, good. That was th 33,000 for that. Very good. And yep, we got everyone up to level 5 and have right up to level 6. So that was really nice. Very happy to see that. This was a very good expedition, very good adventure. Can you feel um, and we can quickly unequip all of our trinkets. Check what we have from the uh, from here. More illuminators. So even if we hadn't have done that, would have had two more available. But no one else that we want here. Uh, we do have a druid down there, but only at level three. So I'd rather not take that. And let's quickly check our trinkets. Unfortunately, nothing very good. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.